Hi, this is Eitan Shalom, and I am here with my patient who uh, is an athlete, and she has trigger point pain, myofascial pain in her glute medius and minimus muscle on the left side here. I've already gotten the needles in, and I've already gotten a really big release with this pistoning technique, so I might not get more of release. I didn't think of turning the camera on. Is that okay? Yeah, you can do that all day. Okay. Yes, and she's she's a pro. She's used to this. Oh. That feels good? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to bring the camera a little closer so you can see. There we go. That's the pistoning technique. PTs call it pistoning technique. In acupuncture Chinese medicine, we call it lifting and thrusting. It's the same technique. Oh, there we go. Did you feel that move? Yeah. I hope you could see that on the camera that it was moving. I don't know if you can or not. Um, and there's, I need both hands now. There we go. Boom. So I think what we'll do, because it's you, is add some electrical stimulation. Because if you, if, you know, when someone says you could do that all day, mm -hmm. that's a really good case for doing the electrical stim because uh, the Chinese, by the way, the Chinese invented electrical stim, uh, not physical therapists. And so it's part of Chinese acupuncture, electrical stim. And they did it because like when I went to acupuncture school in the late 80s, we would read, uh, you'd read uh, case studies uh, or even like uh, in the textbook, you know, when it would get, would give you a point protocol for, um, it would give you a point protocol for, um, you know, treating something. And it would, it would tell you like to, to lift and thrust for 10 minutes. And so my friends who studied in China said, they laughed and they said, yeah, they have nurses doing that. So the doctor gets the needle in and then the, the nurse is the one sitting there doing it for 10 minutes. So in the communist period, they, they, um, somebody developed the electrical stim to, to give that stimulation without having to sit there. And electrical stim uh, is really great for people that like it. And it's really, I especially like to do it in a case like this, where she's got a really strong muscle, really strong muscle. Uh, she's an athlete. And, and so she's got this chronic issue and it's really dense tissue. So you're, you're breaking up uh, the adhesions and you're, you're scientifically, you're, you're helping the collagen fibers repair when you do the electrical stim. That, that's exactly what you're doing. And so let me, um, you know, I'm doing it with the uh, cords. There's another kind of electrical stim that's different, but I'll, I'll, let's just do it with this now. I need I need one more point to attach that one to. So we're going to go here. You let me know what you think. It's kind of an awkward angle for me. Good one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You can go as deep in there as possible. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh. Good. Yeah, even deeper with this. Right. Well, let, let me get a longer needle there. Okay. Um, which I do have, and it's funny because she's not by no means overweight, but she's got uh, really developed muscles there because of, of her athletics. And um, where's the, you know what, I, I, I was starting to say I, I have five inch needles that I bought for sometimes with obese people, but I, I think I used them up. But um, I have three inch, so which is longer than that one. So let's go in with the three inch. Would you like a moment too? Could you put a blanket on the... Yeah, uh, on your back? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, hold on one second. We're, this is what a real life treatment looks like. You gotta go get a, a towel because people, it's pretty warm in here, but you know, when you're lying down, and I just, I just did um, other points on her upper back for different reasons, so that's why her back was not draped. Um, all right, so now let me get that three inch needle and. If that, yeah, that's 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 a little bit longer, I think so. All right, so here we go. So I'm um, the, the kids don't try this at home. 
So I want to get the needle in the exact same place. So I'm putting it in right next to that needle and that's okay. I'm going to take the other one out in a minute, but I want to make sure I get it in exactly the right place. I see the first needle is a little bit thicker. How's that? Oh, that's good, good spot? Good. Yeah. Just as deep as you yeah, can. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm, I'm touching the bone. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm the tip and that's fine. Because people develop what's called periostitis, where uh, the surface of the bone can also get inflamed. So when I tap on the bone, does that feel good or neutral uh, or bad? That's me tapping on the bone. I would say neutral. Okay, all right. So you don't have periostitis. It's just a function of the, the adhesions in the fascia. And the, oh, right in there. It's so yeah. good. Yeah, so, so this isn't even a trigger point. Uh, for the, but it, it's the density of the tissue. The reason why she's got a lot of pain here is because the, the muscle's inflamed and you can get inflammation like that. And this is not somebody who eats a lot of sugar. So it's not like her, she's got inflammation from her diet. You know, some people do from their diet. Other people, is that okay there? Yeah. Is that a good one? Great. Yeah. Oh. How about this one? Yes. Okay, good. Oh. All right, good. So this is dry needling. For hip pain in an athlete and i'm only needling uh trigger points in the gluteus medius and minimus um and now i'm going to turn these on so let me just make sure which cords i have yellow and white and black okay so first make sure that everything is off this is a, a american made machine made by pantheon research in marina del rey and it's the best machine you can buy that i have found and it's it's uh, has to do with the quality of the pulse wave. Okay, so now everything's off. I'm going to put it on continuous. I'm going to put it. I'm going to start it at one. That's the frequency. And now I'm going to turn up the volume, as it were. Why is this? Uh, hold on a second. I think someone has made a mistake here. Unfortunately, the the cords they only come in one color. So, oh, okay. It just fell off is what happened. Okay. Now, let me know when you start to feel it and move this closer. Oh. I feel it, but it could be a lot stronger. Yeah, I'm going to, I was messing with the camera. Um, all right. Let you, you stop me before it gets too strong. All right, so now I've turned on one of them, and these, these clips are pretty close together. So I'm going to turn it off so I can turn the second one on, and we can see if the degree to which they're getting different tissues, or they might just get the same tissues because they're so close together. I'll turn the other one back up. It looks like almost like the same spot. Does it feel like the same spot? That feels a little different. A little different? Good. Okay. So now I'll turn the other one back on and we'll turn them on. There'll be a symphony of electrical stim. Electrical stim is also called e-stim. Um, is that strong enough or do you want it more? Um, but what's interesting is that when you manually manipulate it, mm -hmm. I feel like it gets deeper. Yeah. This is actually not... I mean, it doesn't feel bad, yeah. but it's not hitting... It doesn't feel like it's it, it, it's doing what the other thing was doing. Exactly. Okay, all right. Then then let's let's just... Um, I get paid minimum wage. Um, actually, I get less. I get $1.75 an hour. Um, let's not do the electrical stim in your case. You know, some people are just impossible to please. <laughs> oh my God, okay, princess! Yeah. I mean, I think if you just manipulated them as you were taking them out, or yeah, I know. Like, I'm just joking. Okay. Yeah, I was like, yeah. She's sorry. No, no, no. It's well, I try. I wanted you. Know, I don't want to waste your. Time. I want information. Information is power. Um, but I do like Easton typically. Yeah, I know I you do. It's just because this is such a deep. It's so yeah. deep. My like, yeah. Pain. All right, here we go. Let's stimulate these and then we'll take them out. Yeah, 
Yeah, like it just because is that it's good? so yeah. Well, you know, I can feel so now the the tip of the needle is just below the skin. Now I'm moving into the muscle. But actually, I'm sorry, I'm moving into the fat layer. We all have fat. That's fine. I'm, I'm moving through the fat layer, and now I'm in the muscle, but I can feel the deeper I go, the muscle's tighter. Yeah. It's really dense. And I know what that feels like because I needle myself as well as get get needling done. So I think it's just because it's so deep that it's just difficult for me to um, pull out and stretch on my own. It's very hard to do. Oh. The one thing that I, my, my favorite implement right now for, for somebody to have at home is the Theragun. Oh yeah. Yeah, I really, I mean, it's, 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 it, it's a fair bit, chunk of change to spend. I forget how much it was. Maybe one, it makes like 175 or 225. It's not the end of the world. Um, it's, it's, yeah. And, and so, but I just, it's, it's really gets you in deep. I use it on my calves all the time. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's great because it's just difficult. Well, and it kept it kept jumping too. Every time it, every time it fasciculates, that's called a fasciculation. The, that muscle twitch, that's the muscle and fascia lengthening, returning to normal. All right now. Oh, good one. Yeah. Praise the Lord. I mean, I can't even tell you how good this feels. Well, I know. I, I mean, I needle myself. Yeah. I think, to be honest. Ooh, that was a good one, too. I really should check check out your performance as long as we're here. If you have time. So let me just, let me move your hand for a second. I want to feel where your, your uh, greater trochanter is. And where's your sacrum? Your sacrum is there. Okay, so can I pull this down a little oh, bit more? Yeah. Okay. Ah. Oy. Perfect. Okay, um, we're good. And I'm going to take these out. Put them over there in the needle disposal. And let's try the piriformis, see if it needs help or not. It might not. Oops, there we go. Good one? Yeah. Okay. I pay her extra to say that. I could, oh, that was, man, I could feel it move all the way there. Yeah. Yeah, excellent. Well, this is, what she really has is, is myofascial pain from technically you could call it overuse. Um, because her particular athletics is very specific to using these muscles as stabilizers and stuff like that. And um, um, so more than, but you know, somebody who, has, who is a runner and gets IT band syndrome, it's an overuse syndrome. Um, yeah, or somebody that gets tennis elbow, you, it's an overuse syndrome. And you can get tennis elbow from typing, from playing the piano, from doing acupuncture. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, it doesn't have to be from tennis, but these are all overuse syndromes that where through overuse, uh, the, the muscles and fascia shorten, and then you get localized inflammation in the tissues causing pain. And the dry needling releases the muscles and fascia so they can return to the normal length. It also has an anti-inflammatory effect, etc., etc. All right, let's take that one out, and uh, we're going to send you on your way. I'm going to say goodbye to the audience. Thank you for tuning in.